hello everyone hello aces now let's go back to our another set of review for the most essential learning competencies under the english 10 module 1 for the week 1 now new normal teaching is actually happening in the philippines right now it can be modular distance learning or online distance learning now in order to supplement the understanding of each concept provided to you by our teacher we are drafting now a video lesson so that upon you are answering your module this will serve as a supplement or guide now for english 10 we'll be focusing on the how we can determine the effect of textual aids and illustration on the understanding of the text now usually literature and other stories are meant to be read but some te texts are meant to be understand not just through words but also with the use of textual aids and illustrations now on our presentation here in our cover page you can now have a simple idea of the coverage of this particular module we'll be dealing with a graph if you are thinking that we are on science subject or in the mathematics subjects you're wrong we are in the English 10 and how we can use these textual aids and illustrations on the understanding of a text. Now, textual aids refers to written text, prints, and some other way of writing for an important word, graphs, or even pictures that provide support and facilitate understanding of text. These aids are most of the time graphical outlines or images that gives a general idea of a certain topic. Now, in order to augment your learning absorption, not just by the word, you can also incorporate images or graphical outlines in order to identify the general idea of a certain topic. Now, we have these examples below on how we can use the textual aids in order to provide the general idea or to get the general idea of a text by using images graphical outlines or different aids now the first one would be the nonlinear text are explanations or descriptions of the words usually those writing with visuals diagrams or an infographic some examples include flowcharts and graphs like pie chart, bar graph, or any other related to graphical organizers such as the knowledge maps and story maps. This would be the example of the nonlinear text aside from the maps and the flowcharts that we'll be discussing in the succeeding part of the module that will aid you in understanding the texts. Now, for the continuation, nonlinear text is also subdivided into different types. The first one would be the line graph. Line graph, a common type of chart which displays information as a series of data points connected by straight line segments to show trends. In this module, aside from this video, you will be identifying in certain information or specific data by means of browsing or analyzing the graph or the chart wherein you can pinpoint your specific data answering the specific or particular question below the graph now the first one would be the line graph this would be an example of line graph this will be a bit creative because i use gif for to augment the visual aesthetic now, another example of nonlinear text would be the bar graph. Bar graph would be very familiar in terms of the usage in economics, in science, and mathematics. Now, bar graph is a common type of chart which presents data with rectangular bars that differ in their sizes. It is usually scaled so all the data could fit on the chart. This would be our bar graph. The other one would be the pie, pie graph, a circular chart which is divided into slices or portion to illustrate proportion. That's why we call them, or we call this as pie chart because of its structure. It's as if you are eating 
a pizza or a pie divided into different slices but in pie graph you will be using different portion the bigger portion and the lower uh, and the smaller portion in order to in order to present the data we also have the histogram a graphical distribution of the distribution of numerical data it has no gaps between the bars now the difference between histogram and the bar graph they don't have gaps between the bars and if, as you observe on this GIF we can actually see that we'll be using three colors and some of the colors or two colors are overlapping to each other therefore that would be a trace of the history when it comes on the data now histogram is a bit complicated compared to bar graph now graphic organizers aside from the usage of graphs and charts we also have these graphic organizers it is a communication tool that uses visual symbols to express knowledge concepts or thoughts and the relationship between them this would be an example of graphic organizers in the previous one we only use shapes and numbers but for this time we'll be using different shapes a bit creative and we will be involving concepts or your thoughts we will be merging your thoughts and the symbols for the graphic organizer now let's start the first example of graphic organizer would be the Venn diagram Venn diagram the most common usually we use this in discussion or your presentation to your teachers particularly in English Filipino, Araling Panlipunan, and ESP, and somehow in science and other subjects, of course. It comprises of two overlapping circles and shows all the possible logical relationship between a set of items. And it in introduced to us by Jan Venn in 1980. That's why we call it as Venn Diagram, quoted from the surname of Jan Venn introduced in 1980 now the difference of venn diagrams not only they are three circles or two circles that you will be using in your presentation but they usually merge in order to provide another example merging will give you the idea of what would be the connection of two circles merge their similarities perhaps for the continuation of the graphic organizer, we also have here the concept map. It is a diagram that depicts suggested relationship between concepts. It provides students with the opportunity to organize conceptual information in the process of defining a word. Now, when we say concept map, we you have a bigger circle here, then you will be sprouting different circle again. And from those circle, you can generate another example it means you are funneling down in filipino hinihimay mo yung mga concept from a bigger concept into a smaller information next one would be the flow chart it is a picture of the separate steps of a process in sequential order it is a generic tool that can be adapted for a wide variety of purposes and can be used to describe various processes such as a manufacturing process an administrative or service process or a project plan usually flow chart were used in a serious matters but pertaining to administrative or service process or a project plan wherein you are proposing a plan then what will happen if this plan will be on the yes side and in the no side you should have your view in the future of what will happen to your project that's why we always have here the no and the yes area for the flow chart and flow chart sometimes also designate on the flow of your idea we can also imply that particular concept now for the continuation the tree diagram quoted from the name itself is a chart that begins with one central item and then branches into more and keeps branching until the line of inquiry began with the central item 
is exhausted, the tree diagram which is branching steps motivates you to move from general to specific in a systematic way. Now, they lifted this tree diagram because you continue to branch out from the general idea branching to the succeeding idea of your context. It is also similar a bit in the concept map but the difference would be on how you structure them. In concept map, you can use um, circle, but in the tree diagram, perhaps you can use a root type because it seems to be a branch, it seems to be a stem, or it seems to be a root of a tree or a plant. That's why they associated the term tree diagram. Another example of graphic organizer would be the problem solution map, cause and effect. A relationship between events or things where one is the result of the other or others displays the nature of problem and how it can be solved. It usually contains the problems, description, causes, and effects. For example, we have this problem and this would be the description of the problem and what would be the cause and what would be the effect of those steps and particularly the problem. That would be problem solution map or the cause and effect. Actually, it's a bit difficult. Yes, compared to the previous one, Venn diagram, conceptual map, and the tree diagram. The next one would be spider map, also synonymous or actually a bit similar to the tree diagram and the concept map. Wherein spider map, sometimes called the semantic map, is a type of graphic organizer that is used to investigate and enumerate various aspects of a single theme or topic, helping the student to organize their thoughts. It looks like a bit like a spider's web, hence its name came or derived. Now, as you observe, you have here the central circle, then it will be sprouting again into different limbs. That's why looks like a spider because of its structure at the end. Now let's activate your mind. Please feel free to pause the video so that you, you can answer the questions with sufficient time. Question number one. This organizer shows relationship between events or things where one is the result of the other or others. What would be your answer on question number one? This organizer shows relationship between events or things where one is the result of the other or others. That's correct. The answer would be the problem solution map. We have the clue here, result. Next question, number two. We have it refers to the written text, prints, and some other way of writing for an important word, graphs, or even pictures that provide support and facilitate understanding of texts. I repeat, it refers to the written text, prints, and some other way of writing for an important word, graphs, or even pictures that provide support and facilitate understanding of text. The answer would be textual aids. That's correct. Number three. A circular statistical graphic which is divided into slices to illustrate numerical proportion. Remember our clue, circular and slices. Your answer would be pie graph, that's correct. Number four, a chart that begins with one central item then branches into more and keeps branching until the line of inquiry begun with the central item is exhausted. Your answer would be tree diagram that's correct because of the term branches next one we have this kind of non-linear text is also known as the line plot or line chart the answer would be line graph that's correct now that would be only a simple activity for our module one in the english 10 for the week one of the new normal teaching under the module modular distance learning now feel free to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you will be notified for our next video in english 10 english 7 english 9 and english 8 that will be all for today happy learning everyone keep safe 
and study hard.